Alright guys, so today I'm going to show you how to put notes on your TI-84 Plus CE calculator. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and click the link in the description to download this folder. And then what you're going to do is, um, once you have that folder in your downloads, go ahead and put all the files in that folder onto your desktop, like so. And basically, now we, are, we should have um, three files on our desktop. And uh, the second thing you want to do is make sure you have your TI-84 Plus CE plugged in. So it should look something like that. And basically, what we're going to do now is, um, now that we have our calculator plugged in, uh, we're going to open up the TI Connect CE software. Now, no, this tutorial for putting notes on your calculator, it's only for the TI-84 Plus CE calculator because of its uh, special software and capabilities. So keep that in mind. If you have a different one, it's, it's not going to work for you, at least not this way. Um, there are different methods out there for other calculators, but in this video, I'm only covering um, what the method is for the 84 plus CE calculator. So basically what we're going to do is your calculator should show up as being connected like so uh, once you plug it into your computer. And um, if you go to the uh, file explorer or the project explorer, you're going to see all sorts of files that are on your calculator. Now yours probably doesn't look exactly like this, but that's all right. The next thing we're going to do is um, actually select the notes.8xp and the tfiles.8xp and then basically drag them into um, this project explorer and then go ahead and select all connected calculators and uh, make sure that that bottom checkbox is also checked so now we have the capabilities of putting notes on our calculator because we've put the notes.8xp file and the tfiles.8xp so uh, what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you guys um, how you can put uh, an example of putting notes on your calculator. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new text file. Um, I'm going to call it like sample programs or sample program. And then um, let's see, I'll put the like the Pythagorean theorem or something. Uh, let's say you wanted to you know have this on your calculator for a test or something. Um, and uh, you know. Typing it out on your computer is much more convenient and it's faster than typing it in on your calculator. And so I'm going to show you guys how to put it on your calculator. Now once you have that text file, what you're going to do is go ahead and drag it on top of that conv text.exe file. This is an executable file which basically converts your text file into a file that is usable by our calculator. So if that if the new .8xp file doesn't pop up, you can right click and hit refresh like I did so, then it should pop up. And basically we're just going to drag this file into um, the existing files on your calculator and do the same procedures as last time. Ch uh, check all connected calculators and that bottom checkbox. And now um, we actually have it on our calculator. So I'm going to switch over to my own TI-84 and uh, show you guys how to access this. So over here, I'm going to just go to programs and now, uh, if you notice in programs, uh, there should be two new things on your calculator. Now, the first two are not part of this tutorial. I just had those on my calculator already. But the notes program is actually what we're looking for. So basically, you can see that I have, um, you know, a whole bunch of text files, different text files. Um, sample program on the bottom was the one we just wrote. So this one's an example of a whole bunch of like a list of like chemistry formulas, right, for different compounds. So you can store all sorts of uh, different um, you know text files on here which will be helpful in several of your classes so the y equals button is for creating a new the windows button is for renaming the zoom is for deleting a file and then the graph is for exiting so um, those four buttons uh, towards the top of your calculator are actually the um, you know the different keys that this is using so this is a sample program we just made just to show you guys that it's on here so you can see x squared plus y squared equals z squared and um, can also create and edit files on the calculator itself. Now, this is, um, you know, not nearly as fast as making it on your computer and converting it, but it's definitely an option. So you type with the green uh, letters. So anything that's in green on your calculator is going to be what you're typing. So that's pretty much it I have for this tutorial. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you want more calculator tips, just let me know. And yeah, see you guys next time.